Good morning, friends. It's 5.23 a.m. on a Thursday, and this is a day in my life. So on most days, I'll wake up and I'll go on TikTok and check my text messages for anywhere from like five to ten minutes to like an hour, depending on how early I woke up. But Thursdays are special because I always have to rush to get ready and get to the thrift. So today I woke up around like 5.23. Normally I'll wake up anywhere between 5 a.m. and like 5.40. 5 a.m. is like dream goal that's really like never attained and 5.40 a.m. is like worst possible case that honestly happens most of the time. Bruh. So the first three things I do when I get into the restroom is I brush my teeth, go to the restroom, and put in my contacts. No, y'all, last night I went to bed at 9.30, okay? I was super tired. Sometimes I'm a little bit of an old hag. But yes, I was so tired. I didn't wash my face, okay? <clears throat> and honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I have not been good about washing my face at night. So I often wash the makeup off in the morning. <laughs> To wash my face, I just use this Dove bar of soap that my mom gave me like six months ago and it just turned out to be literally the most amazing face wash ever. And y'all, I wear waterproof mascara, so I have to rub that shit directly on my, my eyelashes. Sometimes it makes my eyes burn, but it's fine. It does the job. Now, Thursdays are my thrift days, so to be very, very clear, this is the only time I wake up at this early. Every other day of the week, I'm pulling myself out of bed at the earliest, like 7 a.m. Hey, hey, Editing Alley here. I realize that 7 a.m. is indeed still early. Um, It's just that <laughs> I have work at 8.30, so I have to wake up at 7. And for me, that's, that's late. The rest of the morning routine is pretty standard. I pretty much show y'all <laughs> every thrift video. But most mornings, I do my makeup and then get dressed and then we head out of the door. I think my makeup routine tends to take me around like 10. 10 minutes i'm always trying to improve that like it's a race like i'm trying to break some record but i think the fastest i've gotten it to be is like seven minutes also since i do film on thursday mornings for thrift with me i don't really have anything playing in the background aiding my ipad baby syndrome but any other day of the week where i'm not filming you better bet i either have some tunes on or a youtube video on Honestly, my hyperfixation YouTuber right now is Cody Ko. Um, well, he's low-key been my hyperfixation YouTuber for like two or three years now. <laughs> but I watch like every single one of his videos and he releases one like every day. So I'll probably be watching him or like Jake Weber or I'll watch this commentary girl or I'll listen to music. Something or the other because I can't sit in silence. Uh, side note, y'all, look how I up oh, my eyeliner bro that is so bad it makes it impossible for me to do my eyeliner i say impossible yeah i low-key slayed with these wings so it's 5 50 now and i'm done with my makeup so now we're gonna pick out our outfit and rush to try to get out of here between like 6 and 6 20. so if it's a thrift day where i know i want the items i thrift to fit perfectly then i'll usually look like a little athletic girl and wear my spandex and like a little sports bra but other days i just i want to look cute okay it's a disease that I want to look cute 99% of the time, I know, but like, I wanna look cute today. So I'm thinking we wear this skirt because it's cute, but I could still slip stuff under it. And then it's 59 degrees, so I think we need to wear a long sleeve. Okay, here is the top. The skirt is uh, really loose, so I'm gonna belt it. As for jewelry, what's our opinion on mixing gold and silver? Because this outfit is giving gold, but the belt buckle is silver. Mm. I'm a rebel, I don't care. I'm gonna do the gold jewelry with the silver belt buckle. It, it is a crime I'm willing to commit. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm brushing my hair so fast, it's because it's 601 and we gotta get out of here like <laughs> now. TBH, this is generally how my Thursday mornings go as I'm always really rushing at the end or honestly any of my mornings. I try to set my alarm to wake up earlier so I have more time, but low key, high key, that doesn't help. Somehow I'm just always rushing at the end no matter what time I wake up. But on my way out, I like to try to drink a little bit of water, be somewhat healthy. 
I was gonna put a gulping sound effect here, but then I hated how it sounded, so gulp, 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 gulp! <laughs> That was like three sips, that was enough. Okay, it's 6.07, so we definitely have time to go get breakfast, which I generally try to do before I thrift. Lols, you can't see me because it's so dark outside, but <laughs> I'm in my car. And on the drive, I like to usually listen to whatever music I'm hyper fixated on right now. And this week, it's Olivia Rodrigo. Can I please get two sausage and cheese crushes, please? Yeah, and that's it. Thank you, have a great day. Okay, it's 6.20, just got the kolaches and normally I'll just eat them while I'm driving to thrift. Okay y'all, it's 6.41 and I'm here and people are starting to line up. So I'm gonna go wait in line. And once I'm in line, I just wait for the thrift to open at seven and then usually I stay until like 11 to 12, depending on how long it takes me. We all know I love certain dresses and it looks like they have a bunch of really gorgeous ones today. Ah, oh, let's try to find, oh my gosh, this is cool. Like already stunned at what we're finding. Oh my gosh, you guys, come here to get your prom dress for real, 225 a piece. Wait, I like this one because it's really pretty but also like more practical. Y'all, look at that skirt. It's so pretty, chocolate and cotton candy pink. Like, oh, she's a little treat. I can't believe there's so many nice dresses. Oh my gosh, whoa. This looks like, this looks like gala vibe. Wait, <laughs> what is happening here? I was gonna say it's giving gala vibes. I'm really confused, but I feel like I have to see this on. For real y'all, sometimes I wish that I was into thrifting. When I was in high school, my senior year for prom, because like the wealth of beautiful vintage dresses that you could wear to prom. So insane. Please, if you're still in high school, thrift your prom dress for me. Like, live my dream. Okay y'all, at first glance, this dress looks like a plasma disease, volcano eruption, scientific disaster pattern. I don't know, but for some reason I'm intrigued. So let's add it to the fancy dress try-on collection. <laughs> the store has so many dress areas. We're now on the complete opposite side of the store looking for Y'all, how do I just like come upon this immediately? <gasps> it's the color of my hair and look, it's sparkly like a midnight sky. <gasps> that feels so poetic. It was sparkly like a midnight sky. I don't know, does that really sound poetic? I don't know, probably not. But anyway, let's try it. When I had blue hair, y'all know I was always looking for stuff that was blue. So now I'm in my purple era and we've got to find a lot of purple to wear. Y'all, is this not giving 2014 Lana Del Rey? Hello? With the florals, it's reminding me of her flower crown and then these little booby cups are so 2014. <laughs> Let's try it. <gasps> Y'all, a Betty boob, <gasps> but <laughs> uh, that's so cute, but maybe not on a onesie. Let's go through tops. sequin details oh yeah oh yeah big cottage core moment let's try it oh okay this is kind of simple but like i feel like it could be cute with kind of like an office siren look that you don't actually wear to the office because it's not appropriate enough to wear the office but you wear it with like black slacks and a sleeved back bun and your glasses and then like that's kind of the move Let's try it. Now, whenever I'm thrifting, I have to be really cognizant because I have a weekly meeting at my nine to five job at 9 a.m. Today is moved to 9.30, so I set an alarm, so we'll make sure not to miss it. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I love lingerie, and this one is gorgeous. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, y'all. Bruh. I love corsets, but I hate Amazon corsets. 
And you know how I know it's an Amazon corset? Because of these ugly clasps. And look, they have this one too, but also the clasps. Oh, I just hate that because this is exactly how all the Amazon corsets are made. And girl, I found these cute too, kind of corporate tops. This one is so giving legally blonde, like Elwood's who? And I like this one with the puffy sleeves. So let's try these on for work. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go through the kids section now. I'm always looking for cute little baby tees. <gasps> oh my gosh, <gasps> it's a little Batman romper. Um, I'm actually obsessed. If y'all didn't know, Batman is my favorite superhero and I low-key was a superhero nerd growing up. Like I played all the Batman, like Arkham Asylum, video games, Lego Batman. I watched all of Justice League, all of the original animated Batman series. My whole family dressed up as Batman, Batwoman, and Batgirl. Like y'all, we as a family were obsessed with Batman. Anyway, you better bet that I am getting this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tell you, if you're looking for Batman, you let me know, girl. I got your back. It's awesome. Thank for you. For two bucks and it's clean. Look, it's not dirty. It looks brand new. Like they probably used it one time. Yeah. You might open a big zipper and see what's in it. Oh my gosh, the Batman design inside is insane. Ooh, what is that? Junk. Oh. <laughs> It looks like somebody's cool. Ew. But it's not open. Look, it's not open. So that's clean. I'll see if I can find some more. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and now it's time to try on. I feel she's kind of cute, but she's not giving it the snatched look that I imagined. Pass. <gasps> this is another pretty on the hanger, but not getting snatched that I want. I feel like if I could get it tailored, but I feel like I won't because I literally never get anything tailored, even though I say I will, and then I just never do. So <laughs> we're going to pass. Since I took my skirt off, I'm just trying on all the dresses in succession over one another and then taking the underneath one off. <sighs> this is really the working strategy. Y'all, the skirt of this dress looks so beautiful on. I'm obsessed, we're getting. My two minute warning alarm just went off for my meeting. So we're gonna get our noise canceling headphones and hop on the work call <laughs> from the thrift. I don't have a video of myself in the meeting, but my mom took this picture a while back and this is literally what I look like when I'm on my meeting at the thrift. It's 10.07, my meeting went a little bit over, but we're gonna finish trying on and then head out of here. The pattern of this dress is still giving scientific parasitic volcano eruption kind of vibe, but it flatters me really well, so let's get it. This dress won't close, so pass. This is so cute on, and it's giving like a dark Lana slash Maleficent vibe, so we're definitely gonna get. Oh yes, get. I love the way this fits, but I don't like the scoop neck top. It just makes it kind of look like an athletic top, so I don't see myself reaching for it, so we're gonna pass. Y'all, this is so cute. <laughs> that was a jump scare. Way too small, like, can barely move, so pass. <laughs> I don't like the puff sleeve. Y'all, I'm crazy. Hi, baby. I live in the shadows. Justice. Forgot them! I need to go to the back cave. See, I like that. That looks good. <laughs> I know, But right? see, you got the figure for it, girl. Oh, thanks. This is definitely the ultimate find. After I'm done trying on, I like to go through people's putbacks I can find. So here I can see a lot of cute potential dresses. Ooh. Most of the time I don't find anything that particularly catches my eye, but sometimes some of my favorite finds have been from people's putbacks. I haven't found anything in particular today, but still fun to look. It's 10.26, so we're done a little early today, but we're gonna check out and now head to get my weekly boba. Randomly, one of my favorite parts of the day is driving home from the thrift because I like to roll my windows down, blast my music, and just dance, and it's it's just so freeing, y'all. Ten fifty three, and we're here at Seven Leaves. Can I please get the jasmine milk tea, regular size, with half sweet and boba pearls, please? 
I love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. I love your piercings. <laughs> thank you. Y'all, I've tried many bobas, and this right here is the most magical, mystical, amazing, delicious boba that you'll ever meet, okay? Mmm! So, so good! Last thing before I go home is a post office stop to drop off a Depop package and check out my P.O. box. Thank you! Oh my gosh, someone sent me a giant Amazon package. I'm low-key too impatient to wait to get home, so let's open it in the car. Ah! I'm literally so excited. Oh, if you want to send me something to my P.O. box, it'll be on the screen. Ah! Oh my gosh, what was that? Okay, maybe the car wasn't the best idea. Oh, Deftones CDs. Oh my gosh. Something in here. Also, I don't get stuff in my P.O. box every day, so this is not a daily occurrence, but it's a day in my life. <gasps> it's a day in my life today, and today I got a B.O.B. Doobie Vinyl! You guys know me so well. And you guys also clown me for saying B.O.B. Doobie, okay? Biba Doobie, whatever. I'm gonna call her B.O.B. Doobie because that's just what I call her. And there's art! <gasps> Thank you! Thank you, Amazon sender. You know me so well. Hi, Jinxie. Jinx always greets me when I get home. Hello, Jinxie. Then I immediately go to the laundry room and I'll take off all the tags of the clothes I got and put them all in the wash. And normally I'll also like grab my laundry from my hamper, but I forgot I was thrifting today. So I did my laundry last night. So I don't have anything to add i lied i do kind of feel gross from raw dogging some of those clothes in the trial part of the thrift so i'm gonna wash this stuff and take a shower now that i'm clean i'm just gonna do a few quick household chores eat lunch and then get to work so when i work from home i like to be comfy but cute so i throw on my oversized over the shoulder d's nuts t-shirt and accessorize and i thought it was just a comfy but also giving look then I was like, okay, let me make my bed because I know if I don't make my bed, <laughs> I'm going to be crawling back into her. So made her all proper, all nice, put my stuffies on, of course. And then I cleaned up a bit and by cleaned up a bit, I meant take my chicken dinner from last night to the kitchen, which is so bad. Um, please don't judge me. I uh, fed Jinxie and then I actually, you probably should judge me for having that chicken out. That's actually so bad. Anyway, um, I folded my laundry and hung it up in my closet. It's 12 and I'm done with those little chores, so I'm gonna eat lunch. So today I actually have leftovers from my dad's. Normally I would just make like a salami and cheese and arugula sandwich or like have some canned soup or something. But some days we're blessed with leftovers. Today will be one of those days. So it looks like he packed me some chicken tiki masala. Oh. <laughs> chicken tikka masala. Not tiki. Great job, Allie. <laughs> this shit is god send and with some non. Oh! And then we have a little salad moment. Gotta get our greens in, gotta be nutritious. And then, of course, to balance out the nutrition, we gotta have our sweets. Ah! I love cookies. Mm, mm, mm. And honestly, y'all, I'm gonna just eat it in these crusty containers like hashtag save the earth don't use unnecessary dishes and then while i'm eating i normally watch like netflix or like a youtube video or something and right now i'm obsessed with this new show called parasite the gray so i'm gonna watch that while i eat and also unbox this necklace that i ordered off of depop got this for Coachella and it's sick. After lunch, it's time for me to get to work at my nine to five job. So I set a candle, pour myself some water, put on my, I actually like doing work because of this playlist, Spotify playlist that I created. 
And if y'all didn't know, I actually do marketing for universities. So that includes like social media, sending newsletters and emails to students, creating flyers, honestly, whatever is really needed marketing wise. So I always start off my day by reading my emails and checking my notion, and then I get to work on whatever I'm doing. So today I worked on our newsletter and then later a flyer. and I'm taking a little break to hang out with Jinxie. She's so cute. Hello, miss. You look very cute today. Working for like five hours in front of a computer is really not healthfully possible. So I try to take breaks to either play with Jinx or like go on a walk or something. <laughs> so cute. Uh, to get away from the screen. Okay, I've got to get back to work, but I'm going to get a little motivational snack. And low-key, I'm starting to feel a little sick. <laughs> sick. Um, sorry, it's just that I seem to be sick every like two weeks as of the last like three months. But since I'm starting to feel sick, I feel like we should do a little like citrus, a little fruit moment. Let's have an apple. Is an apple citrus? No, like I, I feel like it's kind of tangy, so maybe it's a citrus. Um, this is so random, but does anyone else think that sliced apple and like a whole apple, like just biting out of it, tastes completely different? I low key hate full apples, but I can gobble up a good sliced apple. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, something about slicing it just makes it 20 trillion times better. Right, friends it is 501 so the work day is over so now i have the rest of the evening to myself and normally i either hang out with zach a friend or i edit my videos and i originally wasn't gonna see zach tonight because he was sick but i think i'm sick i'm probably gonna see him let's text him and see what he's up to now while i wait for him to respond i'm just gonna brain rot on tiktok Yay! All right, y'all, it's 5.30 and I just realized I'm really fucking hungry. Okay, I'm really hungry. And so I'm gonna eat the rest of my lunch and then also probably heat up this chicken I made the other night since I ate most of the chicken I had at lunch. Also, this is really random, but I have this problem where I get super hungry, like ravenous. Like I'm talking my belly's making audible growling noises and I feel like I've been starving for the last five days. Out of nowhere, I get that hungry. And if I don't eat like that very second, basically, then I will have the most harrowing, painful stomach ache for the rest of the day. So every time I feel that hunger kick in, I have to eat like stat. Like this is literally an emergency. Everyone stop what you're doing. We need to find food. I don't know if it's like IBS or something. Does anyone else have this problem? It's actually like insanely inconvenient in my life. <laughs> and yeah, girl, I made this chicken like two days ago, but it's so freaking bland. I have to douse it in ketchup. And even then it's so mid that it's almost like gross. Like, you know, when something is like, it's not gross, but it's like so mid that it is gross. Like, oh, that's what this homemade chicken tastes like. Now, honestly, for a lot of nights i'll go out and get myself food but i feel like since i already bought food this morning i shouldn't buy food again i'm trying to be a little more financially conscious conscience conscious <laughs> so leftovers it is and then again ipad baby comes out and i have to have my little show on while i eat and so we're gonna continue watching parasite my favorite oh wait i can't say spoilers never mind nothing happens um with my favorite character in the show. <laughs> also, Zach said after dinner that we can hang out while he does art and I edit my videos, so. Yay, you see Zach later, okay. <laughs> okay, it's 7.15 and I'm about to head over to Zach's, but I need to change because he has a roommate and I need to put some pants on. I still wanna be comfy cute, so I'm thinking these pants and this two up. Swapping the jewelry again. Then gotta make myself smell nice again because I'm seeing a man. So I'm 
Vaseline for those crusty, sick girl lips. Feeding Jinx her dinner. Y'all, I was about to leave and then I remembered I have to post a TikTok. I try to post daily, but I literally come up with the ideas like on the spot and just film and post. So now I'm gonna sit here and try to think of something to post and then post it before we head over. Okay, it's 7.49 and we're done filming the TikTok. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> we're definitely getting sick, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just filmed a TikTok about Vaseline because, uh, hello, look how good Vaseline makes my lips look. And, like, I felt like it needed a spotlight on TikTok. But anyway, plans have changed. And instead of going over to Zach's, I'm just going to go and pick him up and bring him back here. So, let's go. Wee! My man, my man, my man. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, don't look. Okay, keep, don't keep looking. Keep don't looking. Keep don't looking. Closed. Okay, wait, the lighting is so bad. Okay, whatever. Three, two, one. <laughs> Do you love it's it? Amazing. It's, it's amazing. Isn't it amazing? It's and so look, I even have the hand <laughs> things. It used to, it had a cape when I found it at the thrift, and then when I was like taking it off, it the cape fell off. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not, not gonna sew it back on. This is not what I was expecting. Really? What were you expecting? I don't know, interesting clothes. Oh my god. I'm actually obsessed with it. Like, I'm gonna wear this every time we're lounging around now. It's my only outfit forever now. I forgot that it gets better. Uh huh. Oh no, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> No way. I haven't even revealed this to uh, the viewers yet. They haven't seen it. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's cute! <gasps> Wait. Why does it smell? It <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> it's 9.16. We're in the end of scroll. <laughs> We're in brain rot mode. Uh, we brain rotted for like the last fucking. It was only 20 minutes. Really? That was probably more. That was probably more. <laughs> but now it's time to grind. Time to work. Okay. We got this. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Maybe look. <gasps> oh, sorry. It's like lying and like looking up at me. Oh, Jinxie. You like Zach? Jinx likes you. Oh. Like me more than you. <gasps> you want to catch these hands? Who would she pick? Jinx, who would you pick? Uh, look where she is right <laughs> Look where she is right now, she's on my side of the room. Then we worked for a while longer, but honestly, Zach kept distracting me and teasing me, so he had to catch these hands for a second, and then I thought I saw a roach on the floor, but luckily it wasn't a roach, it was just like a piece of cloth. Oh, babe, look. Oh, interesting. Oh. oh, interesting. Look, I turn around and she's like, oh, let me go to mommy. She doesn't like her father. <laughs> Hi, babe. Oh, 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 what you like to learn? Oh, hello. <laughs> you won't stabilize, Elvie. <laughs> what time is it? 9.57. It's 9.57, everyone, and my nose has gotten progressively worse because <laughs> someone got me sick. Sorry. I'm divorcing you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to stick this medicine up my nose so that I can breathe. I can't do it. I can't do it. Thank you. You guys, I can barely live anymore. I think this is my final moment. <laughs> Say goodbye. So dramatic. You're so dramatic! See that, you know? How the frick does that look like this? this <laughs> <laughs> terrifying! How much is supposed to go? Wait, how do you. Why is this so confusing? <laughs> when you're sick, you don't want to have to think about opening a doohickey. That's yeah. how you. Yeah. There, okay, ready? <laughs>
<laughs> I can already smell the medicine. Okay, I'm scared. What if I die? One, two. Oh! Ugh. Okay, guys, now we wait and see if it works. <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> okay, Zach's turn. Wait, where's. <laughs> what? Ten oh five, and we're gonna watch something, and we gotta set my projector <laughs> up with my jank ass setup. You guys, what are we watching, babe? So you're supposed to be deciding. No, no, I have half a brain right now. Together we have a whole brain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting delusional. <laughs> Hey. After acting like I didn't know what I wanted to watch for like 20 minutes, I finally admitted that I really want to watch Bojack. So <laughs> we watched Bojack Horseman. Hey, Blanchett, save your book. I'll bet she'll drop everything. <laughs> you okay, y'all, it's the end of the day at 10 43, and I'm getting ready for bed. Normally, I go to sleep like 11 to midnight, but since I'm sick, I'm going to bed now. And my night routine pretty much consists of brushing my teeth, going to the restroom, taking out my contacts, and taking my birth control, and that's pretty much it. Now, normally, I go in bed and raw on TikTok for like an hour, two, maybe if it's really bad, three. But since I'm sick and feeling actually tired, I think I'm just gonna go straight to sleep. So this is the end of a day in my life. Yay! If you made it this far, comment the sun emoji because it was a sunny, beautiful day, I guess. And <laughs> if you guys want to see more of what I do on a daily basis or get more fashion inspo, you can follow my socials here. Make sure to subscribe to join the beautiful fam. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, and good night.